Shemis, we just talked about this before I press record. So many young players in the team. I think yourself and Kelvin Meller coming in the other night perhaps added that little bit of course and distance and maybe helped see the game out. How easy is it to sort of transmit all of those experiences you've had and all of those things you've done and all the water that's gone under the bridge onto a load of you know pretty young, pretty inexperienced players? Uh, it's not something that can happen straight away. I don't, and I don't think it happens particularly from me or Calvin or Sean, that I, either Sean. I think it's their own learned experiences. The more they play, the more they put in situations where they're you know one nil up with ten minutes to go, one nil up with five minutes to go, having to defend set pieces work out how best to see out games, you know, it, it all just comes from from doing it. We can pass on as much as we can through the way we play and perform and also the way we talk to them, but the, the, way, the way they're going to pick it up and have been picking it up is through their own their own experiences and, and the more they play, the, the better they'll get at that and they have they have definitely been been improving and, and, and done very well for us this year. Kelvin said the other night that there are, there are little moments where a player might rush to take a throw mm. in or jump up after they've been fouled or whatever and, mm. and he's going, just take mm. a minute, just let's have 30 seconds to regroup. It's, is it a bit of a grey area? Does experience bring a bit of pragmatism? Uh, it probably brings a bit of tiredness. That's why he's asking him to slow down. Same with me. I think the younger they are, the more the, more energy they've got, they're ready to go. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's you know the, the, there are referees that are clamping down a lot on time wasting this year, as they should do, and it's being able to see a game out and take your time when you can do um, you know I'm not not making it so obvious that you're trying to waste time you're, you know you're jogging to a ball you know but you're you're not making it um, glaringly obvious and you're going to get, get a get a yellow card um, but like I say as yeah, we can talk to them as much as we can do but you know they'll 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 pick it up as as, as, as they keep playing you, you're self-deprecating about needing a bit of extra time and you know getting tired how is it kind of being in and out, kind of being, you know, available one week and maybe playing a couple of games and then having to have a game out or a couple of games out. Is that driven by you knowing your body really well these days? Um, possibly, or the gaffer knowing that um, he's got very good options in midfield as well now with Dan and Ben and, and Alex Henderson coming through. He's got Seb Quirk coming back as well. Um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've said it a few times this year, I, I, I can't play 40 games like I used to. Um, you know, I've always felt the best. The, my best performances come when I'm playing, playing regularly. Maybe train a little bit less, but playing games regularly. But even now, maybe I'm not able to do that as much as I could do. Um, so I just have to try and get myself as as fit as I can, manage my body, understand what my body is saying to me, um, and just be ready to go for you know three o'clock on a Saturday or seven forty-five on a Tuesday when I'm when I'm chosen. How far into the future do you look? I've spoken to a lot of experienced players who say I've spoken to. 21 year old kids in the dressing room and said you need to have a plan and you need to know what you're going to do and they sort of look at me and roll their eyes and don't pay any attention mm -hmm. but I guess equally you'll enjoy and you'll relish the games that you are playing and the opportunities that you have more when you're coming closer to the end of your career yeah I mean I spoke to you after the, the after I scored against Doncaster and I told you that the older you get the more it means the more these things mean these moments mean so um, no, I don't look far into the future at all now. Um, Colchester on Saturdays, as far as I'm looking, um, you know, try and appreciate how blessed we are to be league, football league footballers. Jimmy mentioned it before the game, before we played against Wimbledon. That was the last thing he said. He said, you're privileged to, to play a football league game today. Um, you know, Jimmy and the gaffer never played a football league game. I don't know if they've ever mentioned that to you, but they never played. Scored lots of goals in the non-league though, but they never played football league games. So, you know, likes of Conor O'Brien, um, uh, Aaron Pickles, Alex Henderson, you know, they've got five, 10, 15, 20 games under their belts now. Hopefully they'll have massive careers ahead of them, but they should never take for granted that they're football league players because um, it's, not, it's not a given. How, how good are this management team? with players who could be their kids and could nearly be their grandkids in some cases. Mm. How how much do you see these young players blossom and improve under that guidance from, from the two Johns and Jimmy? I think the best thing they do is they their expectations from, from them are the same as, you know, from myself or Sean Wally or, you know, if, if we had, a you know, top, top players who came into this club, they'd expect the same from them as they would from, you know, Conor O'Brien, Alex Henderson, Aaron Pickles, as I mentioned, coming in. Um, 
you know, whenever they whenever they name a team, if we've got, you know, three, four, five lads under 20, 21, they still expect us to win and there's no excuses. They expect every player to perform to the maximum of their ability. They have absolute belief in every player they've got in this squad that when they're picked, when they're chosen, they ask them to do a job, that they'll do the job. And if they don't do the job, they'll tell them and they probably won't be playing the next week because of that. And I think that's the, that's the, the, the biggest compliment you can give the gaffer, Jimmy, John Doolan, for that question you've asked is their expectations of the young lads are as high as can be.